Hey, Blessed Ambassadors. Can you see the lake in the background? Yeah, I'm here on location in Texas by a lake, so to speak. Hey, welcome to today's edition of What's On My Mind? Uh, but let's find out together, right? Ambassadors, don't you love it when the Lord uses just the easiest, simple things to reveal himself to you? I mean, I do. So what happened this week is a friend was telling me how she was washing dishes. Of all things, washing dishes. She gets to a spatula and there's food gunk on it and she's trying to scrub it off and she's scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing and it would not come off. So she said, I'm just gonna leave this in some water, let it soak and finish the rest of the dishes. That's what she did. She finished the rest of the dishes, came back to that spatula which had been soaking in the water and voila, it came off. It came off so easily. I mean, there's just very little scrubbing on her part, but it came off. So, of course, I'm sure you catch the analogy, right? I'll get to that in a second. You know, two of the most uh, encouraging testimonies I've heard are about Pastor Darren and Pastor Mark. And both of them have this testimony that when they reached a point in their lives where they were tired of being the way they were and they needed a change, they needed a breakthrough, they just started listening and listening and listening and listening to Pastor Prince's messages. And even Pastor Darren, he had to listen on cassette tapes. Can you imagine that? I mean, when we had the JP app and the Gospel Partners and how easy it is to get messages, I mean, we can just like load up a whole bunch and listen and listen and listen. But he had to listen and listen, take out a tape, put a new one, take out a tape, put a new one, right? So that's a hunger. And I pray that you and I have that hunger because I mean, they both say they are where they are today because when they reached that point in their lives where they were tired of having that gunk on their lives, that the washing of the water of the word just helped them to release it or it helped to wash it away. So now look where they are, right? So my encouragement to you and the reason I was pointing at that water, wherever it is, uh, there it is, is that that's what's available to you and me, beloved ambassadors. If there's something in your life that you don't want there anymore, whether it's a, like a sickness, illness, disease, if it's an emotional thing, it's a financial thing, a relational thing, the Lord has given us a way to get rid of that gunk. And in this ministry, aren't we so blessed to have the messages that we have? And we go all the way back to 2000 and listen to these messages. But it's the same thing that uh, as we listen and listen and listen, and I promise you this, beloved ambassadors, that the, the Holy Spirit, your Holy Spirit, will highlight a message to you and say, this is for you. And even if it's just one message, right? Just one message. Every time you listen to it, ask the Holy Spirit, I, I pray to listen to this with fresh ears, a fresh heart, fresh eyes, right? And he will be so faithful to reveal things, new nuggets, something you need in that moment, even though it may be the same message, the same hour and a half message. I'm, I'm declaring in that moment, there will be something new that you need at that time. So if you really wanna get rid of all the gunk, and I know you do, because I know I do, if you really wanna break through, and I know you do because I know I do, then listen and listen and listen. And I'm declaring in the name of Jesus that you and I, will have similar testimonies to Pastor Darren and Pastor Mark, that when we were tired of all the gunk on our spatula, we just soaked in the word and soaked in the word and soaked in the word. And before we knew it, it was gone. It wasn't there anymore. And he brought us out even better than we were before. Right, that's what I'm speaking over you. That's what I'm speaking over me. And let's watch it happen. All right, ambassadors, yeah. Okay, guys, I'll be at Frisco this week. And thank you, Howard and Philippa, for taking over NRH. There's a lot of great things happening at GRC. And the best part is, you're part of the best things happening at GRC. I love you, ambassadors, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.